I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is just wonderful to be with you again. I want to speak to you about something that maybe you're struggling with. Maybe I'm speaking to a young student, maybe a high school pupil, and you say you are afraid of the fear of man. What does that mean? It means you've got no self-confidence. Maybe you're struggling a bit with the way in which you look. Maybe you don't speak as well as other people. Maybe your marks at school are not so good. And maybe you're not in the first team in sport. Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> as I've just described myself. That's right. I was, in the, I was in the last team. And they used to put me on the wing because I couldn't make any mistakes after that. There was nobody else to pass to. My exams, I only just made it. But you know something, folks? When I met Jesus Christ, my life changed completely. The Lord gave me the confidence and took away the fear of man. It's the fear of man that trips you up. Now, if you go with me in your Bibles to the book of Proverbs, I love the book of Proverbs. They say the wisest man that ever lived wrote the book of Proverbs, Solomon. So we go to Proverbs chapter 29, and verse 25, this is what it says. The fear of man brings a snare. You know what a snare is? People set a snare to catch an animal. Normally catch him, catch him around the leg and then he can't move. The fear of man is a snare. But whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe, shall be set on high. So that is the key. There's your answer. How do I get away from the fear of man? By the fear of God. See? And so when I got saved, I, up until then I was still very shy, very insecure, didn't have any confidence to go out and do things. Okay? When I was young, I had a very bad face. I was very underweight. Now that's the truth, folks. When I met Jesus, my life was transformed because I didn't really care anymore what people thought about me. The only thing I was concerned about was what did God think about me? And that confidence just turned me around. See, I, I would get up into the pulpit to preach. That was when I was starting. And I would say, Lord, look at all those people. And the Lord would say to me in my heart, but Angus, you're just a mouthpiece. I'm doing the preaching. Look at uh, Psalm 81 verse 10. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. And that's all I did. God gave me another beautiful scripture when he called me to preach the gospel. It's found in the book of Acts chapter 18 and verses 9 and 10. Do not be afraid, but speak and hold not thy peace. For there are many men in that city. No one will harm you. And that's what I've done. I've hung on to that word. And it's God in me. Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. Christ in you the hope of glory. Not me, Christ in me. So my biggest enemy is Angus. And your biggest enemy is John or Mary, right? And when Angus dies and the Lord reigns in Angus's life, then we've got victory. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So if you're shy, stop being shy. Now I'm not being hard on you. If you're shy, it means you're concerned about what people think about you. You shouldn't be concerned about what people think about you. You should only be concerned about what God thinks about you. And if you're concerned about what God thinks about you, you'll start to walk out in strength. You know that beautiful scripture, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, My God shall supply all of my needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus our Lord. There it is, folks. If you believe that, you've got no more fear of man. So I want to encourage you, spend time with God, and that fear of man will disappear. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.